ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the live stream of the opening ceremony of Plovdiv, European Capital of Culture 2019. I'm your host and translator, Roy Hill, and tonight we will have the pleasure of seeing some of the most notable artists in the country on one stage, along with several music and dance performances showcasing the rich and ancient Bulgarian traditions. Good evening, dear Plovdiv people, and welcome to the residents of Plovdiv and the viewers of BNT1 and the people on our live stream. Welcome to all of you who will be part of the official opening of Plovdiv European Capital of Culture 2019. And it will take place with the We Are All Colors show from the 5th of September 2014, the day Plovdiv won the title, until today, when the program officially starts, many artists, intellectuals, public figures, people from the local institutions have been working together on the project, and of course, people from the local uh, municipalities. Allow me now to give the floor to the host of the ECOC 2019, the Mayor of Plovdiv, Engineer Ivan Totev. Good evening. Thank you. So in this very windy day, but it's not rainy day. We're here together, and we'll set the start for a very spectacular year for Plovdiv, a great year, I would say. Unfortunately, we have to read because there will be translation into English, but they are our own words. We wrote them. Dear Speaker of the National Assembly, somewhere there. Dear Miss European Commissioner, dear Minister of Culture, a big friend of Plovdiv, dear ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Plovdiv, it is a great day today, the one that starts an exciting year, a year that will remain forever in the history of our city. Throughout these 12 months, Plovdiv will represent Bulgaria and will be a European capital of culture in its millennia-long history. The oldest living city in Europe, Plovdiv has always been a cultural center in the hearts of several civilizations. Named the mother of cities, the cradle of Bulgarian revival, and the Bulgarian economic miracle, Plovdiv has played a central role in uniting past, present, and future. It has been home to people from a lot of people from different ethnicities and religions, but with one name, Plovdivs, Plovdivians. So today, on this column of light that is a symbol of our search for new heights, we speak and sing in different languages, and we come from different countries. But ultimately, we talk about what unites us. Together, we talk about Plovdiv, European capital of culture, it all started in 1999 with a triumphal month that showed Plovdivian's power, determination and talent to join hands and organize the European Month of Culture. They showed that their works uh, is an instrument of change, an energy that brings transformation of people, cities, stereotypes. I thank all those who lit that spark in the hot summer of 1999. Together is our motto. It is a slogan that uses a single word to describe our city. A city that gave Bulgaria its unification. Together, we took our destiny into our own hands. And we have worked and continue to work for the future of our city. Countless people have taken part in the preparation of the historic year that is now before us. Each of them has left their mark, their trace, their footprint. I thank everyone who have de dedicated their professional and personal experiences to fight the battles, big and small, for their dreams. If today Plovdiv is a dream come true. Plovdiv is a changing city. We all feel this change. Even here, standing in this place, we find ourselves surrounded by change everywhere around us. 
There, there are cranes actually all around us. We are taking part in this change. We walk along the longest pedestrian street in Europe. We are sensing the atmosphere of Kapana, the quarter that lives its own life, far beyond the borders of our country. We dream that while walking on the cobblestone streets of the old town, in the evening we listen to the music of the singing fountains, we get inspired, we long and secretly keep our fingers crossed that UNESCO will select the great Episcopal Basilica to be a world heritage site. But what are all these roads and buildings? There are no people to fill them with life. It's the people that give meaning to any idea or space. Now is the space and time for me to take a bow to in gratitude before the thousands of volunteers from near and far who joined in the preparation and organization of this event. Schoolboys and girls, retirees, whole families from various ethnicities and religions, speaking a number of different languages, united together, united by Plovdiv. We are here today with our friends from the family of the European capitals of culture. We are here with our colleagues and friends from Matera, our partner city for in the European Capital of Culture Initiative 2019. Dear friends, an unforgettable year awaits us, a year full of hundreds of events. Hundreds of authors and guests will be visiting Plovdiv, the first ever Bulgarian city that has the honor to be the European capital of culture. An initiative with over 30 years of history in the old continent. Dear fellow Plovdivians, it's an enormous privilege for me to be the mayor of this city. May we together leave our trace in the cultural history of United Europe. Thank you and good luck. And now let me invite on stage the European Commissioner for Digital Economy, Ms. Maria Gabriel. You're up. Good evening. Dear Mr. Totev, dear Mr. Banov, ladies and gentlemen, young people, Plovdivians, for me it's a real pleasure and a great excitement for me to be together with you at this time when we are officially launching the program of Plovdiv 2019, the European Capital of Culture. I am proud that Plovdiv is the first Bulgarian city to be the capital of culture across Europe throughout this year. And this is fully deserved. Plovdiv has always been at the heart of the cultural history of Bulgaria and Europe. Here, past, present, and the aspiration for a better future are amazingly intertwined. This is what the people of Plovdiv have encoded as a message in their motto of their city, ancient and eternal. And it cannot be otherwise, as Plovdiv is a real treasure with a thousand years of history, that, with a strong European dimension and exceptional historic monuments and buildings, which combine in a unique way cultural elements from the Balkan Peninsula and the whole of Europe. This is where we understand that culture is not just an addition, but is essential for keeping and shaping our European identity to create the sense of common belonging, to form tomorrow's Europe. Here, we can feel the spirit and the character of the old town of Plovdiv, the but also the dynamics of the modern and fast developing city. This is why it's no surprise that we associate Plovdiv with a myriad of painters and writers who have been finding their inspiration for the creations here. When we think about culture, Plovdiv is not only about the past. As the European Commissioner for Digital Economy, I was very proud to see the online platform Digital Pro Pla Plovdiv with over 50,000 digitized cultural products developed by the Plodin municipality in partnership with the most important local cultural institutions, 
such as the National Library of Anvazov, museums and galleries in the city. I was especially impressed by the historic buildings digitized in 3D. All of them deserve to be visited live. Ladies and gentlemen, 2018 was the European Year of Cultural Heritage, which was very successful. Today, I am convinced that precisely Plovdiv will have to build upon this success as a European capital of culture, to transmit to us its remarkable energy and keep on promoting the cultural diversity in Europe. This way, Plovdiv will once again reconfirm the contribution of culture to the European society and economy, leaving its own trace. I'm deeply convinced that the key word at stake in the successful future of the European Union is the word together. This is the word that Plodiv has chosen to be the motto for the time it will be the European capital of culture. If during last year the emphasis was on our cultural wealth and diversity in Europe, this year we will go even further beyond by using its potential. With the spirit and the content of the program for this year, Plovdiv reflects in an incredible way the need to use our creative resources, our rich culture and our priceless heritage for strengthening our values to connect us and so that we can all together shape our common future. Together we achieved a lot in culture. Together we need to continue to build. And today, from this tower, Plovdiv is sending a strong message to the whole of Europe and the entire world. A message to bring people together around a value so basic as culture is for us Bulgarians. Around a vision for a shared future where tradition and new technologies jointly write the pages of the European cultural history. Dear Mr. Totev, it's a real honor for me and a pleasure, of course, to hand the commemorative plaque awarded by the European Commission in recognition of the great work and invested efforts by you as mayor and your team Shall we go on the other side? We'll go to the other side now. Let's go together. We also received words of thanks from the President Roman Radev and the Prime Minister Boyko Borisov. And now it's time for us all together to let the uh, We Are All Colors start. The main concept of Plovdiv, European Capital of Culture, the key to everything we are uh, looking forward to in 2019, in which we will all be connected together. Enjoy watching.
Collective, Phase 7 Performing Arts, directed by Sven Sjoren Bayer. The show is a result of over one year of collaboration and preparation with the Plovdiv 2019 Foundation and the City of Plovdiv and many, many artists from young to old, professionals and unprofessionals, athletes, volunteers, citizens of Plovdiv that represent the motto, together. I can hear the magical melody of a harp. Orpheus is singing his hymns with mystical and ancient delight. I hear magnificent thunder and gentle legends. Songs, drifting words, legends, beliefs. I hear all our past flowing here and now. Each past can be reborn into future. Each future can be dreamed of in order to be together. Let's all merge the colors, the legends, the songs. The world is a palette, magical and gentle arc, a colorfully weaved garment, a lawn of tulips and roses. It is an embroidery. The world is all colors, here and now. performance by over 200 of the fabled Bulgarian cookery. The dancers from the Plovdiv and Karlovo regions are here in their authentic costumes in order to symbolically drive away the forces of evil to give a good beginning to the new year. The sound of their bells is intertwined with the musical composition so as to harmonize it with the performance. The cookery are a tradition that is akin to similar rituals in many other European countries and at the same time is typical of Bulgaria and every separate region in the country. Every beginning has to be pure, good, strong, full of faith in the traditions and perspective, mind and heart towards the future. This is exactly what the opening of Plovdiv, European capital of culture, is like. The performance allows the ancient past of the city to the future it is to come. The separate parts symbolically represent the four thematic platforms of the program of Plovdiv. Fuse, transform, revive and relax. The four thematic platforms are related to the typical characteristics of the city, its cultural heritage, history, rhythm of life, as well as to the existing issues and stereotypes that need to be overcome. Very important to the understanding of the program as a whole, the ideas of the separate platforms and their inner logic is the motto together. Seemingly simple and universal in its meaning, this motto summarizes in one word both the achievements to be proud of and the biggest challenges to this project. Those of you just tuning in now, this is our live stream coverage of the Plovdiv, European Capital of Culture 2019. Don't forget to visit our website, www.plovdiv2019.eu. For all the latest news regarding all the events which will take place here over the coming months, as well as exclusive interviews and footage. Though the temperatures in Plovdiv are currently below zero degrees Celsius, 
Over 50,000 people are expected to attend the ceremony, which kicks off a series of hundreds of events which will take place in the city over the next year. Kharkiv is the first Bulgarian city chosen to be the European capital of culture. In 2019, 20 years after the city hosted the Month of Culture in 1999, we celebrate the most prestigious cultural initiative of the European Union. The European Capital of Culture is a unique project for Bulgaria which provides new opportunities for the development of the potential of the city and new international visibility of Bulgarian culture as a whole. The programme of Plovdiv European Capital of Culture 2019 also includes activities and events in the south-central region of Bulgaria, as well as in Varna, Veliko Ternovo and Sofia. The city of Matera in southern Italy is Plovdiv's twin as European Capital of Culture for 2019. The two cities are engaged in active cooperation on common projects and initiatives. Matera bears the title together with the Basilicata region. After nearly four years of preparation, Plovdiv 2019's lineup will include more than 300 projects and nearly 500 events covering not just Plovdiv but the entire south region. See borders, borders disappearing borders, disappearing borders, disappearing borders, disappearing borders. What do you hear? A voice aimed at the future of so many people. Urban dreams, urban dreams. A European fairy tale told by the people. Traveling with a time machine. Traveling with a time machine. Traveling with a time machine. With a time machine. Through hills and through centuries. Through hills and through centuries. Through hills and through centuries. Or the wind, which plays with the dust of time gone by, on these old and beautiful streets. Some things you can hear, others you can only see, but others you can only feel. The spirit of revival which covers all these streets and paves its way. From the Sleeping Beauty to the Rodopi Mountains, from the cities of antiquity to the contemporary ones, this, we're walking along it. And the higher you get, the farther you look, you understand that everything is connected. So easy to think in black and white. So easy to say, we are here and they are there. No, 
But all of a sudden, we have we. of Languages symbolically presents the cultural diversity of Plovdiv, all the communities that have built the city and have been living in peace here for centuries. The actors are students in the 11th and 12th grades at the National High School for Stage and Screen Arts in Plovdiv, the only such school in the Balkan Peninsula, and perform a text written by the German theatrical director Gustav Rube in Bulgarian, English, French, Spanish, Italian, Armenian, Greek, Turkish, Romanese, Russian and Hebrew. My palm is half of the earth, and your palm is the other half. Take my hand, and we both create a world. Гласните са чувство, а съгласните са разум. Гласни и съгласни, малки и големи, заедно са слово. А словото е най-великото от всичко. А словото над всичко се издига. Ела! Ела, ти, който и да си. Какъвто и да си, какъвто и да цвета си. Come, come whoever you are. Whoever you are, come whatever color you are. Ела, ти, от където и да си. От където и да идваш, на където и да си запътил. Ти. Който и да си, поне за малко спри, до мене застани. Затвори очи и дай ръката си в моята. И двете ни ръце в себе си ще сключат цялата Европа. Бланта ми е половината континент, а твоята е другата половина. Хвани ме за ръка и двете ни ръце в себе си ще сключат цялата земя. My palm is half of the continent and your palm is the other half. Take my hand, and we both create the world. Z е земята на която си роден. Проста която носиш в сърцето си. От която се възраждаш. central highlights in the program. In this part of the spectacle, 56 participants and 20 children will represent the live image of the, of the motto of Plovdiv together. Letters in Cyrillic and Latin will be put together simultaneously in Bulgarian English, led by actors on the catwalks among the audience. We firmly believe that the similarities between us, whether among the different groups in Plovdiv or the different cultures of Europe, we are more than the features that separate us.
next performance will be Transform, Plovdiv Transform Europe, a modern representation of present times through the prism of dance. The dancers are from the folk ensemble Trachia. For We Are All Colours, they have collaborated with the German choreographer Lydia Clement, and thus they go outside the familiar form of a folk dance ensemble. Here, they depict the present time through the means of contemporary dance, a literal transformation of dance skills and a symbolic transformation of the city. What we see here is a mixture between dance and high technology, created by video artist Frieda Weiss. The dancers are moving and producing the patterns on the LED screens behind them live. A camera is filming their movements and they are being transformed into flickering forms behind them. I close my eyes and look inside myself. I close my eyes and start to see outside. The light draws continents, oceans, the world. The light pulses and draws. Borders and oceans, squares and libraries, parks and academies, theatres and peaks. I see this world inside me. I recreate it around me because I know that is down it is the same above. What is inside me, it is outside too. What is the world inside me, it will be the same for all of us. A colorful rain burst, and there is no more inside and out, no more down or above. And the world sings together with the sounds of all colors. The next performance is uh, going to be performed 
by a choir of over 200 singers from the most famous choirs in Plovdiv, the academic choir Gaudiamos and the academic folklore choir from the Art Academy of Plovdiv. The chamber choir Ivan Spasov, Detska Kitka Choir, the Plovdiv Boys Choir, the choir of the State Opera of Plovdiv. Under the direction of the artistic conductor of the State Opera of Plovdiv, Dian Chubanov, they perform an anthem specially composed for the event, which is also the musical anthem of the opening event. The music is by the famous contemporary composer Kristen Amliev. Once again, it includes elements of the emblematic songs of the various ethnic groups and committees that coexist in Plovdiv.
I dance and celebrate. My body is all the bodies before me. My hands are the hands of a lover. Singing at dawn thousands of years ago, my thoughts are all the thoughts of those before me. My feelings are all those feelings before me. My fear is ancient, my love is even older. And they have traveled thousands of years towards me to be awoken and to cheerfully flow, called again, conceived again, reborn here and now, revived, let them be. The narrative in the show began with the magical sounds of the lyre, which make a symbolic connection with the legend of Orpheus and the Rodopi Mountains. In this part of the show, the lyre appears literally on the stage in a modern version. The green rays form a very special musical instrument, a laser harp. The four musicians are playing a piece composed by DJ Electric Universe. Past has become the present as the realization of the idea of transformation. The performers are the quartet intro, graduates of the Academy of Arts in Plovdiv. We stand next to each other, so many capitals, face to face, shoulder to shoulder, so many cultures, hand to hand, eye to eye, so many colors, now we are together, one in all the colors, all the colors in one, because Plovdiv is now together with all, because now Plovdiv is Europe.
Coming up next is the world-renowned German electronic music artist Schiller, who will perform one of his electronic hits. With over 7 million albums sold, he is Germany's most successful electronic artist. Also tonight, the stage does not only belong to the artists. In the spirit of the motto, together, 1,000 citizens from Plantiv have been invited to celebrate on the stage. They represent the multicolored nature and liveliness of the city.
And as we near the end of this fabulous opening ceremony, the final part of the show will be a live performance by Valia Balkanska and her Bulgarian bagpipe player Peter Yanev of the famous cosmic song Izlel Adeli Haidutin, which is the song by which the whole world remembers Bulgaria. For the first time, this song is going to be performed together with an orchestra directed by Christian Steinhäuser.
ceremony for Plot of European Capital of Culture 2019. But for, for, for those of you who would like to keep up to date with the latest information, news and videos from all events taking place here in Plovdiv, don't forget to visit our website www.plovdiv2019.eu. Also, the live stream will continue with a two-hour set by the German musician Schiller.